In 12 on schools, experts say back to school shoppers overall may be holding out for sales, though here in southwestern Connecticut, it may be an altogether different story. News 12 Connecticut's Vanessa Murphy is at in Bridgeport at Gumdrop Swap on Main Street. Vanessa, you're checking in with shoppers there throughout the day. And Brandon, the owner of this thrift boutique, says she's noticing more customers lately. I've noticed that people are still a little wary about spending money, you know, still a little nervous about the economy, kind of bouncing back. I like the bounce kitchen. And that's why Gabrielle Flood says her shop is so popular. Customers can swap clothes and buy new and used ones at a discount. I come here more. Giovanni Moreno says so long big box stores. Target, Walmart, Carter's. What's that thing? She's back to school shopping for her four-year-old. I just started now. At the Stamford Town Center, some parents aren't spending just yet. I actually am probably waiting for a lot of the sales. So we can save money and get good stuff at the same time. The International Council of Shopping Centers says that's the trend lately. Shoppers are holding out for the back-to-school deals this summer. But the marketing director here says business is good. We have wonderful traffic um, and sales through the center this summer. Well, when you have four kids like Joel Whitten. We're going to try to get it accomplished all in one go. And there may be a lot to get. Just ask the experts. A b new backpack. New clothes. High heels. High heels for school? Yeah. You think mom's going to get that for you? No, she's giving me sneakers. And tax-free week starts Sunday, August 18th. Retailers are expecting more shoppers because it's a popular time to get back to school stuff. By the way, you think I can fit in these? In Bridgeport, Vanessa Murphy, News 12, Connecticut. Or maybe you like that other girl, Vanessa, get high heels or whatever for the first day of school. This brings us to the News 12 question of the day. Will you cut back on your back to school shopping this year compared to previous years? And so far, 64% of you say you do expect to cut back. 36% though do not. You can vote on our website, news12.com, as well as channel 612. You can also leave a comment on our Facebook page. Charlene says, still no list in Stanford, so my answer is, I don't know. In 12 on schools, experts say back to school shoppers overall may be holding out for sales. Here in southwestern Connecticut, though, it may be a different story. News 12 Connecticut's Vanessa Murphy is live in Bridgeport at Gumdrop Swap on Main Street. Vanessa, you've been checking in with shoppers today. And the owner of this thrift boutique says she's noticing more customers lately. We met one mom who says she's shopping for back to school clothes here now instead of the big box stores because she's on a budget. She feels like she saves more here. The International Council of Shopping Centers released a report saying shoppers seem to be holding out for deals this summer. But at the Stamford Town Center, the marketing director says that's not the case. Today, we met families with different spending habits this summer. I actually am probably waiting for a lot of the sales. We took the day off today to be with the kids and we're going to try to get it accomplished all in one go. We're waiting for sales on the good stuff so we can save money and get good stuff at the same time. Tax-free week starts Sunday, August 18th. Retailers are expecting more customers. It's a popular time for back-to-school shopping. In Bridgeport, Vanessa Murphy, Mobile 12. Even the kids out there looking for bargains. Vanessa, thanks. That brings us to the News 12 question of the day. Will you cut back on your back-to-school shopping this year compared to previous years? So far, 64% of you say you do expect to cut back. 36% do not. You can vote on our website, news12.com, as well as channel 612. And you can also leave a comment on our Facebook page. Jacob says no, but we will be spending less since uniforms haven't changed and whatnot. You'll find the very latest updates on our top local stories as well as the question of the day by going to the News 12 Connecticut Facebook page and selecting like. You can also stay informed with the day's top headlines by following News 12 Connecticut on Twitter.